こんにちはグローバル英語専門塾の西京里です今日は僕が普段教えているリベラルアーツコースの授業とは別に、えー、こんな授業もやってますよっていうのを紹介したいと思います、えー、今日持ってきたのはこの関数の問題英語でなんですけどもこれ大体アメリカの、えー、大学とかに行くと1年生でやりそうなレベルなんですが実際高校の復習レベルだと。たりすする問題で,すで、えー、今日はこんなちょっと高校生レベルの問題をあの英語でやるんですけども、えー、もちろんレベルに応じて中学生レベルだったり、あのー、まあ数学限らず教えられることであれば、えー、あの用語に応じて、えー、授業でやっていきたいと思います。Okay, so the question I brought is discuss the curve y equals x to the power of 4 minus, minus 4x cubed with respect to concavity, points of inflection, and local maxima and minima. So our function of x here is, like I said, x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed. We take the first derivative. And it becomes 4x to the power of 3 minus 12x squared. This can be simplified to 4x squared bracket x minus 3. And then our second derivative becomes.、Um, 12x squared minus 24x, and this is then 12x x minus 2. Okay, so now we want to find out what、um, x is when first there is zero. So let's see, is zero. When this is zero and this is three, so x zero and three, and then、uh, for a second derivative is zero when this is zero and that is two, so x equals zero and two. Now we punch in the zero and three to the second derivative. And when we do that, get f double zero equals zero, simply zero. And when we punch in three from the calculator, I know this is 36. Since this is greater than zero, we know that there's going to be a local minimum. So when we put three into the first equation here, Then we know that, let's use red, function of 3 equals、um, put 3 here again from the calcu calculator. I know that is minus 27. Okay, now we know that second derivative 0 is at a crucial number. And we don't know if there's a local minimum or maximum at this point. But when we take the number, let's say, a little smaller than 0, say minus 1, when we punch in minus 1 here, we get minus 1, minus 3, minus 4, minus 4, minus, become a negative number. So when we put, when we put f negative 1 into f dash, it is. It is less than zero. And then when we put something、um, a little bigger, like one, one of negative, sorry, it's not here. When we put one, it's minus two. And then minus two, but then this is positive, so we know it's zero. From here, we know that there's no. Local minima or maximum at point zero. So now let's erase that.
Okay, and now um, we want to find out. So we know the local maxima and minima. We know there's a local minima at minus 27, and points of, points of inflection is at 0 and 2. So when we know it's at 0 and 2, it's from negative infinity to 0. And we from the, so let's pick a number like negative one, and we put negative one in here. You know, minus three, minus three, minus minus is positive, so it becomes up. Concavity is up. D is up. Now from from zero to two. Let's say let's pick a number like one. If you put one here, it's minus one, minus one and we're positive here so the answer is going to be negative we know concavity is downward and then finally from 2 to infinity let's pick a number like 3 3 minus 2 is 1 3 3 is positive so it's going to be positive and concavity is going to be up now for this Curve y equals x to the power 4 minus 4 x cubed. We know it's concavity here. We know points of inflection is at 0 and 2. And then local maximum, we know the local minimum is here. So we're going to draw the graph next, but let's get our points of inflection clear. So let's use red. Function when x is equal to zero, it's simply zero. And when it's x equals, sorry, it's two, then you know what? I magically know that it's minus sixteen from the calculator. So we got all the information we need. Now let's draw the graph. So, 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 I'll draw this, I'll draw a graph, something like this, and we know the important points are 1, 2, 3, so, now first, the uh, 0, we know this is a point of inflection, and it's 0, 0, this is a point of inflection 1. Our next point of inflection is that 2 is negative 16, so let's say 2, let's say minus 16 somewhere here. And then we have our local minima at 3, so let's say 1, 2, 3, minus, let's say minus 27 somewhere here. And now we know that from negative infinity to zero we have concave up. So our graph is something like that. And then from zero to two we have concave down. So let's make the graph go down this way. And from two to infinity we have concave up at we have a local minimum at 27 so it's going to be like this now just looking at this function we know that when x equals 4 then it just becomes 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 minus 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 so we know it's 0 so it's going to pass through 4 there so this is how our graph is going to look like. こんな感じで今日は数学の問題を解いてみましたが、もちろん数学であればいろんなレベルで基本に応じてやりますし、僕が教えられる範囲、物理だったりコンピューターサイエンスま中学生高校生レベルだったらいろんな教科を え、教えることを可能だと思うので、え、興味ある方はぜひ、グローバル英語専門に問い合わせお願いします。